During shakedown of the new Essex-class carrier USS Bunker Hill in July 1943, F4U-1 Corsairs of VF-17 were filmed in various stances of the infamous bounce that threatened to keep the high-performance gull-wing fighter land-based. Lieutenant W.M. Butch Davenport, Squadron Engineering Officer, worked with Vought engineers to alter the air and oil balance in the landing gear struts on the F4U-1, thereby taming the Corsair on landing. But these films, dated July 12, 1943, show the early, wild ride Corsair pilots experienced on the Bunker Hill's wooden flight deck. The later successful introduction of Corsairs aboard U.S. Navy ships included other features, like a small spoiler on the leading edge of the right wing to provide better stall warning and reduce the violence of some stalls. Raising the pilot's seat improved forward visibility, and the use of a curved approach to landing kept the LSO in view of the pilot to make the landing signal officer's efforts more useful. Modifications to the tail hook and tail wheel assembly also proved beneficial. Even after VF-17 showed how the Corsair's carrier landing bounce could be tamed, the squadron was given shore duty in the Pacific, while the Navy kept its logistics more simple, serving only F-6F Hellcats as frontline fighters aboard ship for the rest of 1943. This vintage film also shows some TBF Avengers engaging the wire aboard Bunker Hill during shakedown. We hope you enjoyed this historic film footage from the development of the famous F4U Corsair fighter of World War II. I'm Fred Johnson for the Air Rail Images channel. Thank you for watching, and especially thanks for subscribing.